Hi there, it's Deborah Irene and it's story time. Today is a nice spring day in May. It's a little bit warm and I've opened up my kitchen door so if you hear some birds singing or some traffic going by, that's why and I hope that it's not too annoying but it is a beautiful day and a beautiful day to have the windows and the door open. Today I want to read a story to you to give you hope and also to maybe you're to increase your faith but maybe you need a miracle from God as we're preparing to try to get back into the world uh, gradually some of us I know have suffered losses and some of us more than others you may have lost a loved one or someone very dear to you to this virus maybe you lost your job or maybe you lost relationships uh, there's been a lot of loss but I believe that God can restore. He can help us. And I think it's always good to be grateful. I try to remind myself to be grateful for everything that I have. But it's okay to ask God. Sometimes when we can't do things ourselves, or even when we can do things ourselves, you know, he, he, we need to rely on him and it's okay to ask him for that miraculous thing. I've had a few of these things happen to me throughout my lifetime where I wanted something. I was grateful for what I had, but I wanted something that was beyond my ability to, to, to get or to provide myself. And I, I asked God and he came through and he performed a miracle. So I want to read you a story today because maybe you are at a place where you need a miracle and maybe you just need to ask God because the Bible says we have not because we ask, because we ask not. So yes, be grateful and remember to ask. So let me read you this story. It is in my book, Someday I Will Write, and it is in the section, A Time for Family. And I looked out the window because I just heard a really <laughs> loud truck go down the road so i hope he gets on down the road there it's in the section of time for family and this is chapter 32 and the name of the chapter is and it came to pass there's nothing like christmas time for a child to learn patience there's so much anticipation hype and expectation leading up to this day and then finally the day is here and gone or, in other words, the culmination is, and it came to pass. Much hope abounds in these five little words, and it came to pass. Reading these words in stories or seeing things come to pass in others' lives gives us hope for our own circumstances. These words are used repeatedly in the Christmas story told in the Gospel of Luke King James the Virgin, and it came to pass, and it came to pass, and it came to pass. Everything came to pass as prophesied and in the fullness of time. I remember a time in my life when I was discouraged. I was a mother of two little boys, but wanted to complete my family with a third child. And I felt like I was under a time crunch. I miscarried a baby. And many people thought that since I had two children, this little misfortune would quickly fade away. They were wrong. My husband and I both were surprised with the grief that consumed me. Why had this happened? Was God angry with me? I knew many others had suffered this same loss and more, but But when acquaintances tried to console me with similar words like these, well, those words were anything but consoling. Of course, others had suffered more than I, and of course, I was grateful for my two healthy sons, whom I loved with my whole heart, but I still ached and suffered loss. I thrust myself into God's love book of Psalms to remind myself that he did care and love me. Each time that I came across a promise or statement of his love or concern, I highlighted it and reread it. Now, 
I want to remind you here that it was in the book of Psalms. And this is the Bible that I don't know if you'll be able to tell here that I used. And this would have been back in the late 80s, early 90s. I don't know if you can see there some of the highlights. But this is the Bible that I read, and I just, there's some more highlights. I, every time I came across a promise or an encouragement of God's love, I highlighted it, and I reread it. So that's what, what I'm saying here in my book. I highlighted it and reread it. And I reread stories like the Christmas story and soaked in those words and it came to pass 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 that my hope was restored. Faith arose again and I was bold and declared, I will have another child, a Christmas child. Well, maybe some thought I was really going out on a limb by saying that. But we all need a little miracle every now and then. And I felt like God was telling me that I would have a Christmas child. And it came to pass, like he impressed upon me, and I declared, at Christmas time the following year, in 1990, my third son was born. Oh, I realized that some would question my use of the word miracle here. But you see, for me, I needed to believe again, to hope again. He was my miracle of hope. Whenever I reflect on this season of the Lord's birth, I reflect on my personal miracle when he heard my cry and granted my wish, and it came to pass. 22 birthdays have now passed, and I still need to be reminded, and it came to pass, and it came to pass. Today's needs and desires are different, but remembering yesterday's miracle gives me strength to abide while I wait for what I need today. I will abide and hope today, tomorrow, next week, next month, and the next if necessary. Maybe this will be the year that I will once again say, and it came to pass. And I wrote this as a blog in December of 2012. So now we've got seven and a half more years have gone by. I wanted to read that to you today. And I also want to say that there's more to that story. I just touched on it in my book, Reflections, where I talk about one chapter is devoted to my third son. I, I tell more details about how I felt like I asked God for a miracle and how I believe he spoke that to me through his word. So I want to encourage you today that if, you're, if you've suffered a big loss and you think there is no hope, there is hope. And sometimes we just need to ask and believe. It's okay to ask. Today I'm believing for something. And I have written down and, and highlighted another verse and this is in Psalm 16 that I'm waiting for to come to pass. And it says, Lord, you have assigned me my portion and my cup. You have made my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. That's what I'm praying for right now. So today, if you've lost something, I would just encourage you to reach out to God and ask him for a miracle and believe and hang on to hope. It's Deborah Irene and thank you for joining joining me today for story time.